I've had a hard week at work. It's the city. They have me cleaning gutters on every corner. So uh, on your way back, I need you to pick up some milk and uh, some eggs or something. Put them away when you get home. And then help the kids with their homework. Teenager caring for two. Okay, Dad. It's been a few months since me and Joel were together. I haven't heard much from him lately. My best friend Kayla has been helping me through this the entire time. I think it's safe to say I love her. I've been thinking a lot about him lately. He's been on my mind everywhere I go. Everywhere I look, everything I see, everything I hear seems to remind me of him. I hope that going over to Kayla's to talk helps soothe my worry mind. Since Joel and I Skyped last night, I haven't been able to get him out of my head. I didn't even want to get out of bed this morning. It seems like it was just yesterday. We were at the park, and I was telling him... I don't know. I just can't do this anymore. I still remember the look on his face, how hurt he was when I told him I didn't think it was going to work out. I remember his exact words. Please, I want this more than anything. Really, I do. I want us to continue. He pleaded for me back, Kayla. He said that he was willing to change, but I just couldn't be with someone who had as many problems as he did. I don't mean to sound rude, but who gave you the entitlement to point out someone else's flaws? What do you mean? I don't want to sound harsh, but I don't think that someone should be pointing out other people's flaws when they can't even point out their own. And that got me thinking. Do I realize my own flaws? I mean, I guess I could be more organized or something, right? Oh, come on, Molly. Don't let what she said get to you. You realize that everyone has flaws, and you can realize that you have your own, and that's that. I guess you're right. I'm just still transitioning, I guess. I understand, but you just have to forget about him and move on. It's not that easy. I just want my perfect guy to come sometime or another. I know you probably don't want to be hearing this from me, but I'm your best friend. I'm going to be honest with you when it comes to what I think and feel. Honestly, Molly? No, it's not like that. It's just... No, listen. I want you to be happy. More than anything, you know that. You just need to start accepting people for who they are and stop trying so hard to find flaws in people that would otherwise go unnoticed. My friends always seem to get me thinking about myself. I don't really know why. The way they look at things helps me think differently about myself, which, I guess, helps me realize things that I need to fix about myself. Hopefully there's someone out there who will be willing to accept me after I make my necessary changes. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, it's nothing. Are you hurt? <laughs> no. I'm Cody. I'm Molly. What Kayla said was still pounding in my head. Maybe I am too quick to judge. Maybe I do look for flaws. I mean, look at this kid. He looks like he just got off from work from cleaning the gutters. Where are you headed? I just got off work for a sewage company. I clean storm drains and gutters. That's awkward. I know this sounds a little strange, we've only just met, but what are you doing later this evening? Uh, I'm not sure why. Oh, hold on. Here's my number. Call me if you want to hang out, okay? 